hello guys welcome once again in this video I will show you how to use check boxes radio button and group boxes with your visual basic windows form application so let's get started first of all I will go to my toolbox and I will drag and drop a group box and I will take two group boxes here to demonstrate check boxes and radio buttons so what I will do is I will in the first group box I will drag and drop two check boxes and in the second group box two which is group box two I will drag and drop two radio buttons okay so a group is a container in which you can group your tools so for example when I run the program and when I check this these check boxes you can notice that I can check both of them at the same time and when I check radio button and when I check one radio button and when I'm going to check the ra other radio button you see that when the radio button is in a group we can only check one radio button at a time right so this is the basic difference in checkbox and radio buttons checkboxes you can generally check multiple checkboxes in a group and you can check only one radio button at a time in a group box and by the name itself also uh, suggest that checkboxes we use for multiple checking right and radio button are generally used for one in multiple options so that's said and done <coughs> now let's see how we can use them so first of all this first group box for example I want to show the age so I will change the title of this group box and I will say checkbox 1 under 15 checkbox 2 text is under 25 and let me take one more checkbox so the third checkbox will when I check it it shows the age uh, on or over 25 I will say over 25 okay so I have these three checkboxes right and for example I will add a button also which says show age so when I press this button whatever checkbox is checked it will show the age so I'll say show age button and now I will select this button and double click it and in here I will give three conditions the three conditions are like this so checkbox 2 and let's see the name of these checkboxes so checkbox 1 second checkbox is checkbox 2 and third checkbox is checkbox 3 okay so now we have three conditions here if we write if checkbook 1 is checked then I will show the message that age is under 15 if my checkbox 2 is checked then I will say the age is under 25 and the third checkbox is checked if then uh, I will say age is over 25 so when I run the program and I check one of these buttons you see the message age is under 20, 15 and age is under 25 and age is over 25 okay now if you notice that when I check these multiple buttons it will only show this first of the 
age and not other ages so to make this more uh, flexible what we can do is we can write this kind of code we will just use if and else condition like this so just let me complete the code and then I will show you so now we have the condition like this if first checkbox is checked then this message will be shown and this condition is finished here if second text box is checked then this condition will be true and this message will be shown and accordingly the third message and now when we run the program and when we check all these three options we see age is under 15 age is under 25 and age is over 25 so in this way you can use check boxes and in the same way you can also use radio buttons by using this button but one other way is just select your radio button this is also true for check boxes and double click it and you can say that when radio button is checked or when it's changed then you can ch change something so for example button one dot enabled is equal to or radio button radio button 1 dot checked okay so when you give this condition then and run your program and when you click this button and when you see this it's disabled because my radio button is unchecked and when I check this button it's enabled right disabled and enabled or you can declare a global variable like this dim or your name where as whatever integer or message you want to show integer and this variable you can use it here when radio button 1 is changed or checked and then you can say variable is equal to 15 right so you can use it like this also and there are other properties also for example you select a radio button you can choose whether it should be checked true or false for example I check may I mark it true you see here it's checked and there are other properties which you can uh, play with and see what happens when you change these properties okay so I hope you have in understand the basic use of these checkboxes and radio buttons and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please rate, comment and subscribe and bye for now.